All right, I'm going to demonstrate uh, Eclipse setup for uh, OpenGL programming uh, on more Windows. Obviously, uh, this is somewhat similar to what you will be doing uh, on on a Mac. I'll point out the differences. Um, observe right away. I've already downloaded the archive files for the C++ template project and uh, the starter code for the uh, homework um, two-dimension project. So in Windows, in the labs, uh, the first thing you'll notice going to all programs is we have two versions of Eclipse installed right now. So for, uh, for OpenGL programming, you want Eclipse CDT. Right, I want to create a new workspace to use. Uh, this is an optional thing. So to, to do that, I'm going to switch workspace by uh, giving a new workspace name. Okay, and I go to the workbench and then maximize this and minimize it. Now what I want to do is find that workspace folder. Here it is and dump in the C++ template project like so. Now we'll go back to Eclipse. And I want to import that project. It's an existing project. And I'll go find it now. There it is. That looks good. Good. There it is. Now, this contains uh, the compiler settings that you'll need for uh, compiling either on uh, Windows, uh, Mac, or uh, for that matter, Linux. So uh, rather than have to reset those settings every single time, what you'll do um, to create new projects is simply uh, make sure that the, this project is open, make a copy of it, and then paste it, uh, change the name. Okay, so now uh, the settings for this project have been cloned into this project. So now I'm going to import It's not an existing project. Uh, the uh, homework 2D is an archive file. And there it is. All right, so there are all the files. Um, now this is important. Um, we're going to make sure that we are working with the correct build configuration. So right clicking on that. Uh, go to build configuration, set active, and in order to set up for Windows, if you were on Mac, you would choose OS X here. So just make sure that this is selected, and then you can right click and say build project. And those messages appear uh, under the console. So now to run it, Right click and choose run as local C, C++. Okay, and that's uh, all there is to that. Running the program turns out to be a little more involved on uh, Mac than Windows. Uh, so what you'll need to do if you're on the Mac uh, Right click, go to run as, go to your 
run configurations. Um, and we want a new C, C++ application. I'll just fill out everything in here for, for Windows. What you'll see on the Mac, rather than, than a Windows folder, you'll have an OS space X folder. So fill in that folder. And if we open that, you can't open it right now, but uh, if we open that, you'll see uh, there's an hw2d.exe. Um, so you would create that and run that. Uh, and then I'm going to close this. So then, sure. Uh, and then to uh, run under OS X, uh, you will just always have to go to Run Configuration, select that, and choose Run. All right, so that's uh, it's a little more involved uh, with uh, with uh, Max.